Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am finally filming my Sephora haul. This was from the fall sale. I was waiting on a package to come in and then I had to go do an exchange. <laughs> Excuse me, but yeah, all my stuff is in. We'll get into the details. I got some stuff happening, but before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love for you to join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, I do lots of hauls. We have this conversation every time. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. Um, I do tutorials, I do hair, I do nails, I do fitness, everything related to beauty. So if you're into that, you are gonna love this channel. I won't keep you waiting. If you wanna see what I picked up during the fall VIB sale, Stay tuned to keep on watching. So I don't feel like I did that much damage, <laughs> but the funny thing is I was so busy during the sale. I placed my initial order and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna place another order and then I'm gonna place one at the end if I need to. I didn't have time to go to the store. I placed the second order and then I was like, oh, I forgot I wanna check a few more things and the sale was over. So low key, I saved money because I missed it. But I did get some good things I'm excited about. So we're gonna jump right in. The first thing I picked up, I always go through the sale items first because those tend to go fast and they're already on sale and you get your discount. So of course I'm Rouge, I shopped too much, had my 20% off, this fragrance was half price and 20% off. This is the Heretic Parfum Bergamusk Plant-Based Eau de Parfum. Never heard of the brand, didn't know anything about it, but I was like, bergamot plus musk, I'm probably gonna like it. And I was reading some of the reviews and I was just like, yeah, I think it should be something that's good for me. It says it's clean, alluring, and uplifting, and it has white musk, bergamot and then it says jasmine and cedar and then sandalwood yeah right up my alley so i will not lie i have sprayed this a couple times already because i wanted to make sure i was gonna like it before i went to the store in case i needed to return it look how small this bottle is this is tiny what size is this 1.7 i don't know why it seems like it's smaller but this was on sale for $82, I think. So multiply that times two because it was half off. And then, you know, minus the 20%. So I was like, this will be a good blind buy. This smells so clean, but still has that sexiness because of the musk. And I absolutely love it. So glad that I got it. And it makes me curious to try more from the brand. Let me know if y'all have heard from them. Have you tried their stuff? I do feel like it lasts for a while. So I definitely think this one was worth the splurge. Up next, I picked up a backup of my Lily Lashes Power Liner. This is the three in one, sorry, two in one liner and lash adhesive. I picked this one up in black and in white. These were on sale for $8. So the $8, they're normally $20. And then the 20% off, I have these because I bought backups last time thinking like they were about to go out of stock or something, but they're still there. This is perfect if you're wearing false lashes and sometimes you have issues with the corners lifting, you can pop this little pin in your purse. All you gotta do is draw it, press it back down and you're good. I feel like this lasts really long and it helps. It's easier for me to apply my lashes with this, with a liner on my, line, on my eyelid already instead of having to put glue on the lash. And then sometimes like I'll put it too high and then I got a black dot up here. It's a whole mess. So I just feel like this has been easier for me for my lashes and I've actually enjoyed wearing them more now. Speaking of lashes, I did pick up, we have three pairs, I think. So the Sephora and Lily Lashes collaboration lashes were on sale 30% off. Plus I think these were on sale half off. So I was like, I don't really need any more lashes, but if y'all basically gonna give them away like that, then yes, I'm gonna take it. So the first one I picked up is Powell Street. I guess I should go ahead and open this because I feel like I always have trouble showing these to you when I want to. I need my scissors. Um, 
but these are really pair. I picked pretty pair. I picked up the ones that said like hooded eyes or downturned eyes because I feel like my eyes are downturned and hooded. So these are really pretty and I feel like these could be a great everyday pair. Still a little drama, but not too long. So these are Powell Street. The next ones I picked up are 34th Street. I'm honestly not sure if I have these already. I don't think I do. That was one of my other things. Like, don't pick up sets that you already have. I have the Miamis and the Iconic and... Or, wait, is that Lily Lashes? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm not sure, but whatever. I have some of the other ones. So this is 34th Street. So again, cute pair. These are a little longer. Maybe a little more wispy. I would say a little more wispy, but... Another cute pair that look like they should be easy to wear. And then Beverly Drive. Now I will say I think I have this pair already, but I just thought they were so pretty. I felt like I'm not gonna be upset with myself for buying another pair. These have a little more flair on the ends, which is what I tend to like. And so, yeah, we just, we bought a backup. Next, I knew I wanted to pick these up because I've heard people talking about these and I wanted to see what the hype was. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I picked mine up in the shade Dream Pop. And yeah, I had to try this on. I grabbed as many of these products as I could one day and was like, I need to try as much as I can on my face because I was headed to the office and I was like, the office is close to the mall. So if these suck, I can bring them back and exchange them for different colors. I felt like I had the best makeup day that day. So these are not going anywhere. But this shade I saw, I can't remember who I saw wear it, but I was just like, that is such a gorgeous shade. And I put it on blended it out and I was just like this is right up my alley and it looked just it's not too pink and it's not too red but it's also not that terracotta kind of burnt red brown shade that I like I definitely wanted to try something different so glad I picked this up and I loved how my makeup turned out that day I also wanted to try the highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. So I got one of the glow wands, I think it's called, Beauty Light Wand. Um, I picked this one up in the shade Spotlight. And I will say, is this one has a little bit of a learning curve to it because I put it on and I just kind of put a few dots right here. And by the time I went to blend them out, it was already drying. So definitely do not try to put this on and then just think you're, did I not close this? Is she not locked? Oh, she is closed, but I just had that much left over. Yeah, I tried not to put too much <laughs> of this one, but that is what it looks like right there. Looks super blingy, but like when you blend it out, I feel like it just gives you this gorgeous glow. And then I went over it with my blush again, just to kind of tone it down. And I thought it looked so good. So I'm happy with both of those. Definitely keeping those. I've been wanting to try them and... Now I have them. Next, I picked up a Patrick Ta blush duo, another one. This is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade She's Baked. Now I will be honest, I am not 100% sure if I'm keeping this one or not, if I wanna get a different shade, mainly because it looks very similar to, what do I have? She's different. Where did I put it? It's in my bathroom. Hold on. Okay, so yes, I have Oh, She's Different. So this is the one that I had already. So you can see the shade there. My perfect terracotta, nice mauve, perfect shade. And I don't know why I thought this one was a little more red. I mean, I guess it is. Window down so there's no glare. I feel like for the price of these, these are almost too similar for me to keep them. They're different especially the the cream shade. Okay, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a mess. Let me swatch them. And maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, they're different. Okay, I don't feel as bad. So this one is She's Baked, and this one is Oh, She's Different. So She's Baked, Oh, She's Different. Can y'all see that? 
The one I've had for a while is definitely more, I don't know if they changed the formula or just because it's older and I've had it for a while. Can y'all see that there's a difference in those shades? Because I swear there is. Oh, is it different enough to keep it or should I get a different shade? Let me swatch the blushes. Yeah, now those look very different to me. This is She's Baked. And I don't know where I'm gonna swatch that. Let's do here and here. So I don't know. I feel like that's different enough. Y'all comment and tell me what you think. It is a pain to get to the mall that had that I can return these. And so part of that is my dilemma because I'm like, I don't want the headache. I'm just going to keep it. But then at the same time, I don't want to have it and not use it because it's so similar, if that makes sense. So I'm going to think about that one. But let me know what y'all think if these shades are different enough that I should keep them or return it. I did pick up a couple of skincare items. The first thing I got, I got a jumbo of the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I love this stuff. Anytime I have something going on with a little texture on my face, after using this for a few nights, it clears up. So I was like, go ahead and get the big one. And I was trying to see, I guess I could have checked the Paula's Choice website. Maybe they would have had a Black Friday sale, but I didn't see this at Ulta. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it while it's on sale. And if I find out another way to get it later, that's less expensive, then I'll do that next time. But I got about half a bottle of the small one left. So I felt like the timing is right to get a backup. I also picked up another bottle of this Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. I use this every night before bed and I do feel like, of course I have makeup on right now, but I do feel like I've been feeling a little more confident about going out with no makeup or less makeup because I feel like my dark spots aren't as bad and just my skin is starting to look better in general. So I was really happy. I know I've been using this for a while and I think this has a lot to do with it. So this was already on sale and then the 20% off. So I was like, yep, you like it. It works well with your skin. Now's the time to grab it. I also decided to pick up, and I have not used this before. This is the First Aid Beauty Sculpting Body Lotion. So I have used the KP 10% whatever it is for um, if you have rough, bumpy skin. I've used that before, the scrub. And so I was like, you know what? Let me see if maybe using these two together will actually help even more. I don't know, but I feel like the other stuff works. So I was like, why not go ahead and try this too? And it says that this helps to improve the appearance of skin's texture so that it looks firm, smooth, and lifted. And it says this is great for your butt, the back of your thighs, your arms, and your chest. So if you are new to my channel, I have complained about the back of my legs. I feel like I have the strawberry skin and I don't like how it looks. It used to be like I wouldn't wear shorts. Now I'm just like whatever because I work too hard for my legs not to wear shorts. And I just try to keep what the back of my legs looks like out of my head and just focus on the front since that's all I can see anyway. Um... But yeah, still a work in progress on trying to clear that up. I've done laser hair removal to try to help with it. Nobody's skin is perfect, but you know, there's no harm in working on it, I say. Back to the makeup. I felt like I would not be me if I did a haul and didn't get an eyeshadow palette. And there weren't a lot of palettes that really like jumped out at me that I haven't bought already. But I saw this, this is the Dominique Cosmetics Essential Palette. And I was like, you know, that's kind of cute. And it's an everyday palette. So I know I would use it, not buying anything super colorful. And I was like, let's just see. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the packaging. I love this mauve color. And then this is the palette right here. And at first I was like, that is way too light. And honestly, I still kind of feel like it's light, but here's what happened. I used this one day just to kind of do an eyeshadow look like what I have right now, because this is my everyday, just get out the house. I throw something in my crease to help my eyes not look so hooded to give a little definition and contour here. 
So I tried this shade, which I didn't think would do anything, but it kind of reminds me of how Natasha Denona's shades are darker on the eye than what they look like in the pan. Same thing with this one. So this shade and this shade actually show up on my skin tone. But then I was like, what if I want to make it like a darker brown? So I very lightly dipped into the black and laid that down and then went back over it with this and made it a brown. I put this shade on my lid. So, so pretty. I can't wait to use this one. Let me go ahead and swatch. Um, I'm going to swatch the mattes real quick. Oh, yeah, that shade is gorgeous. Oh, that's flaky. That's smooth. Yeah, that's the one I put on my lid. Hmm. That one's pretty smooth as well. So those are the shades right there. I feel like these are like perfect, everyday, shimmery, but not crazy. Is that? No. Okay, so this, no. So this is Grateful, which is that kind of light lilac purpley shade. So pretty. Then this is Pretty Kind, which is more flaky than the others. You can tell it has a lot more oomph and body to it. Then this is Kalinda, which I don't know what that means, but I heard it before. That's what I put on my lid, and I was like, ooh, that's pretty. And then this is Affirmation, gorgeous, everyday bronzy shade. And then this is Confident, which is also gorgeous if you want to do something a little more smoky. So, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Honestly, I'm keeping it more for the... <laughs> The shimmer shades than the mattes just because I think the formula of these is nice. I probably could have waited for it to go on sale a little bit more but y'all know sometimes you just get impulsive and you want to try something so I feel like I treated myself. I also decided to pick up one of the this little set right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Kit. So right now in my travel bag, I have a small version of the Patrick Star One Size Spray, which is forever sold out everywhere. I have a big can. I have a backup of a big can. That spray is no joke. But this one is also no joke. So I was like, you know what? Let me get a small one of this that I can have in my bag because I'm going to run out of Patrick. I only want to use that for extreme cases. So I feel like I have, what else do I have? Urban Decay All Nighter. I have a small one that I keep in my travel bag, but that's not as heavy duty as this one. So I was just like, <laughs> we got to make sure I'm starting to travel more again. So time to refresh my travel bag. This next one was kind of just a, I looked at it online. I told myself, don't get it. Went in the store to do an exchange or a return, supposed to be a return and ended up doing an exchange and picking up this product. I just thought this little set was so cute. This is the Danessa Myricks Blurring Buddies set. It has the Blurring Balm Powder in Universal and then the Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. Which shade is this? I don't think that's the name of it. Or is it? I don't know why I thought this was a different shade. I thought this was like the Prima Donna shade or something. Or is this special to the set? Either way, I already have, I already have this. <laughs> this is why I told myself I wasn't getting it. I already have the Blurring Balm Powder in Universal in the big size. But I told myself it's okay to get this because now I can put it in my travel bag, which is where it's going. I'm sure y'all have seen this. I've done a video with it. So that is why I got that. But then this pink... I do not have. I have Golden Hour and I have Jubilee. Do I only have two or do I have three? I think that's the only two I have. But this one is in It Girl. I was like, I know this has to have another name. And this is that bright pink that everybody went nuts for. And I was like, this is the perfect time to try it. I love that it's a smaller one. I want to put that on my face so bad right now. And I'm going to. Where's my blush brush? I just, I love the formula of these. It just, ooh, I barely dipped my brush in there. I think that they blend out so effortlessly and they really just like, they dry down to a powder, but it also kind of gives your skin a little bit of a glow. I don't know how to explain it, but it is just so pretty. Now I gotta make sure it's even because I don't know how I managed to put so much on the other side. 
But yeah, like you just saw, I barely dipped my brush in that. And I love these. They stay so you don't have issues with feeling like your powder, like your blush is just eaten off by the end of the day. But yeah, this is what that looks like. Absolutely gorgeous shade. And this is also going to go in my travel bag because I travel with blushes that are more muted, like my everyday shades. So this would be perfect for me to have a different color to give me a little more pop or wear it every day. So yeah, that was my reasoning for picking it up. That's what I thought when I first looked at it and that's what I'm sticking to. While we're talking about blushes, I couldn't pass this up just for the value. This is the LYS Higher Standards Blush Set. There are three blushes in here and I think one of them is a shade that they did not come out with in their regular line because it has a little bit of a sheen to it. And then the other two are shades that I don't have. So I was like, this is good because these are not shades that you have. I don't even think I have shades like this. Oh, that might be kind of close. In my collection, that pink one I started to say looks a little close. Let's go ahead and swatch her. This is in the shade, oh Lord, I can't see. Humble, is this gonna show on me? Oh yeah, it's not as cool toned. Oh, actually, hmm. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I wanna put it on right now, but I feel like you're not gonna be able to see the difference between them. This other one is called Self Love and it is a shimmer. And I don't think they have other ones that are a shimmer, but that is such a gorgeous shade. Of course, we got to swatch her. I need to see what's the shimmer. That doesn't look shimmery. Maybe, but it also doesn't, it looks similar to that one. I don't really see that as a shimmer. And I don't see that much of a difference. I see it on my finger. It's this one here, and this is the first one. The middle finger is Danessa. So these are the two from LYS. Okay, these definitely don't swatch as pigmented as they look in the pan. Um, they're definitely not as pigmented. This uh, last one is in Unique. Ooh, that has a punch. Gorgeous. That's what I was kind of hoping to see with this one. So, yeah, I don't think I don't think I have a blush that shade. It's almost like a purple magenta kind of shade. That is so pretty. So that's why I picked up that set. And I think it was like $20 or something. Like the price was just like, what are we even talking about here? If you're going to question, should you get it or not? Like next, next, I picked up two of these facial cleansing pads. These are the Sephora collection. They were on sale and 30% off. I picked these up because I like to have this in my travel bag and I had left mine in Texas and then I just recently traveled and realized I didn't have it. So I was like, I'm going to get a backup or two because I want to make sure I have one of these at all times. So love these for not wanting to travel with my Luna Foreo, Foreo, whatever that thing's called. I have that in my shower. I've left that in a hotel room, pissed me off because they're over $100. So I'm like, you know what? We're going to do some manual scrubbing, same thing. I also decided to pick up the Milk Makeup Translucent Medium Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Setting Powder. I did translucent medium because I have enough translucent white powders and so i was like well let me see how medium this is is it going to be a yellow but this is almost i don't know how to explain it and i have used this so i'm trying not to make a mess i feel like this is like the perfect yellow slightly peach shade which i was not expecting it i don't need nothing else on my face but i wasn't expecting it to be like that just blurred right here oh my goodness this says blurring and that is exactly what it does. Like I felt like my pores were showing a little bit right here, maybe from putting the cream blush and now it's just disappeared. So 
I've already tried this. This was what I wore when I felt like I had a beautiful makeup day. So definitely think this is worth it. Another LYS set that I picked up, this is the Speak Love set and it is their two piece lip treatment oil and moisture matte lipstick. I did also try this on that day and loved, loved it. This is the matte lipstick. I love how slim line this is and it's just perfect everyday shade for me. You probably can't even see. I guess you can see it a little bit. Um, but again, it matches with what I have on right now. Slightly darker, but this is an everyday kind of shade for me. And then this is kind of messy, but this is the Glossy Lip in Hot Chocolate. Oh, what shade is this? Hot Chocolate as well. This literally smells like vanilla. And I put this on. It kind of is giving me Fenty Gloss Bomb vibes. But I was just like, ooh, my lips look so juicy and so good and just, yeah, this is gorgeous. So definitely glad I picked up this set. And I would love if they made these in different sets because, I don't know, at the same time, I'm glad they made it in this set because I feel like a lot of sets always come out and they're always these pale nudes and peachy nude and beigey nude. And I'm like, give us a little bit of color for us darker skinned girls who like lips sets too. We need some love around here. I picked up a Sephora Velour Makeup Face Puff because it was on sale. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't use these a lot. Right now I have the Real Technique, is this Real No, Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender Puff thingy. I have this one. I also recently picked up Real Techniques kind of has one like that. And I do like when I apply my powder, it seems to really make everything in this area smooth and stay matte. So I've just been seeing how everybody's been talking about, we need to use a puff, we need to use a puff. I didn't have a puff, now I got a puff. I don't think I bought this last sale. I feel like I didn't, but if I did now, I have a backup. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Concealer Brush, yes. I wanted it last sale and I feel like it went out of stock before I could get it and I was mad because FOMO, yeah, I don't think I have this. I don't think I have it. It don't matter if I do. But I've heard so many people talk about how good this brush is. Oh, they got this like really in here. Like I can't take this out. Can I cut it without cutting the bristles? So this is what it looks like. This is very standard with the other concealer brushes that I like to use. This is the Sephora concealer brush. So you can see very similar shape. I feel like it's not as dense, but it's also because the bristles are longer, but I think it'll be perfect for being able to get this smooth before I blend it out with my sponge and then go over it with my powder. So always looking for a great concealer brush. And of course, if you can get it on sale, that's the best time to do it. Getting down to the end, I picked up a few products from House Labs. I had to try her concealer. This is the Tricone, Triclone Skin Tech Concealer Corrector. I picked mine up in the shade 33 medium. Now, I had shade 30 because the website said if you wear this shade in the foundation and you want a concealer to brighten, get 30. That was so light on me and I was just like, nope, that's not it. So I picked this one up too but then I don't know what happened. It's almost like I'm definitely going to try it again because this I was like, oh, no, that is way too light. But then when I put it on, I was like, it might be OK. And then the next thing you know, I was like, you can't even really tell that I have concealer on. Like it literally looked like my under eyes were not highlighted at all. So then I was like, did I really need shade number 30? Like the website said. So, I mean, I feel like that's light, but I guess maybe when it dries down, it gets darker. Either way, it'll be fine for every day. And I really wanted to try this one because it says that it actually helps to depuff, which I've never seen a concealer claim to do that, ever. I did pick up a highlighter and a bronzer. This was purely just, I'm feeling like shopping and I got the highlighter in the shade Sunstone, which is my normal kind of champagne gold. 
But when I went in the store, I swatched the peach one and I was like, oh, I want to bring this one back and get the peach one. I tried this one on though, and I think it's a gorgeous shade, but I feel like it's very similar to stuff that I already have. So part of me is like, get something that you don't have because this one is more gold than it is champagne, but I think it's perfect. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to buy them both. And I have other peachy shades from different brands. So part of me is like, if I can get to the mall and exchange it, cool. If not, I'll be fine because I like this shade too. And I know it works for my skin tone. I just heard a lot of good things about the formula. So I wanted to try it myself. With the bronzer, I picked up number 10, deep level 10. When I first put this on, I was like, whoa, light hand, slow your roll. And then I was like, maybe I need nine because this 10, first of all, love the packaging on both of these, but this 10 looks super deep. So I get in the store, this is 10 right here on my finger. And then I get in the store, maybe I swatched the wrong one. Because I thought I swatched 10 in the store and I was like, that looks like it'll work for me. And then I swatched nine and it barely showed up, but this looks darker. Either way, I wore this on the day where I felt like my makeup turned out perfect and I just had to use a really light hand with it. I feel like personally for my preference in makeup, I would rather get something and have to use a light hand than have to just keep trying to build it up and build it up and build it up the pat mcgrath bronzers i bought the one that was supposed to be my shade based on my foundation shade can i get it to work absolutely but i have to keep building and i don't love it i also bought one of the darker ones and i like that one better so again i know that's just my preference but i was really happy with how both of these looked when i tried them on my skin Almost done. I had to get one of these and I mainly got it because I also want to compare it to a drugstore product I found. This is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I feel like there's more to this lip balm. I got it in the shade Mauve Glow and I feel like this is the perfect. Again, everyday nude. It is a balm. It's not even going to show right now, so I'm not going to use it. But you have to be careful with these because once you click them up, you can't click it back down. I know this looks really dark in the tube, but once you put it on, it kind of shears out, but it's supposed to be plumping and hydrating. And it reminds me a lot of a hard candy product that I picked up and I showed in a haul before. So I can't wait. You know what? Let me see if I can find it because I'm gonna compare them right now. Okay, so here it is. This is the Hard Candy Insta Pout Lip Melt. And I got this one in the shade The One. So I'm going to see if I can get these to swatch to show. But very similar formula. I do like that this one is, oh no, same thing. So once you retract it, you can't put it back. I mean, once you, you know what I'm saying. You can't retract it. <laughs> so this is what they look like right here. The shades are a little bit different. The hard candy one is a little, let me swatch this on the other side. A little bit lighter. You're not going to be able to see much of this. Don't put too much, Lord. Yeah, it's almost identical formula. Super glossy. This one right here, if you can even see anything, is the uh, Makeup by Mario. Has a little bit more color to it. And then that's the hard candy one right there. The Makeup by Mario, I feel like, is a little more creamy. I ain't got room to put nothing else on my lips, but I feel like the Hard Candy one is similar enough that if you want to try it and you don't want to spend the Makeup by Mario, you can go ahead and get the Hard Candy one. It's pretty much the same thing. Next, I picked up this Fruit Quenchers Hydrating Conditioning Lip Oil Duo from Fenty Beauty. I didn't know that they had lip oils and I was just like, okay, we're going to try it. This is in Kalahari Melon and Barbados Cherry. I've been loving lip oils just for like my everyday, put something on my lips with my lip liner and go. And I hadn't tried any from this brand. 
cute that they had the little I want to smell these and see if they smell like that definitely smells like melon yeah that smells like cherry so they smell like what they are supposed to smell like but I've been loving keeping lip oils in my car when I don't want to think so much about what I'm putting on my lips and so I just decided to grab these since there was a little cute duo and 20% off Last but not least, I told y'all every chance I get if I see one of these perfume sampler sets that has something in it I think I'll like, I buy them. This one was $85, which I feel like they used to be like $60, $65, but I don't know if it's just because of what... Oh, I like how they did this one better. I don't know if it's just because of what they have in this one or maybe there's more. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot in here. Normally they put it in this plastic thing and you have to pop them out. But this one has 16 samples. I use these to travel with. Always keep them in my travel bag. And then you get to pick one full size of whichever one you like. So the options you have in here are Burberry Her. Is that all of them? Because I feel like something missing. Okay, so they have, let's go through these real quick. Fleur Missing Person, which I know I love this one. I also got it in another set. I love the smell of it. It's just a sheer fragrance, so it doesn't last long. So that's the only reason why I haven't picked this one up. I like stronger fragrances that last longer. So you have that one. Then we have Prada Paradox, which honestly, I think this is the one that I'm going to get. Not sure. Smelled it in store. I think I like it, but I also think it smells similar to something I have already. I am just not sure yet. So this one is one of the top ones I'm considering. Oh, here we go. Is this all 16, 5, 6, 7, 8? Yes. Okay. So the florals, they have Burberry Her, which I do have a small one of that one. Um, I just got like a travel size. I haven't even opened it yet. So definitely an option. Carolina Herrera, good girl. I have never smelled that. So I was like, okay, this is going to be perfect. Gucci, Flora, Gorgeous, Jasmine, probably not, not a big Jasmine fan. Um, Mark Jacobs, Daisy, ever so fresh. It's a fruity floral. I know I actually like Mark Jacobs, Daisy. I didn't think I would. So this one is maybe we can see how that one smells. Nest New York Golden Nectar. It's a warm floral. Not sure. Um, I said Prada. Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I have Valentino Volce Vivo, which I absolutely love. And I've heard a lot of people talking about this one. So this one's also a warm floral. It is definitely on my radar. Then Versace Bright Crystal, I have that and I have a backup, so we don't need that one. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, I already have. And then Juliet has a gun, Lust for Sun. I have not smelled that. I have the Juliet has a gun pair and then I also have Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Love both of those. And then they have Warm and Spicy Maison Margiela Replica by The Fireplace. I've smelled that one. I don't want to smell like that. It smells good, but I don't want to smell like that. Um, I said Fleur Missing Person. Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. I'm not a big, if it's heavy on vanilla, that's not normally something I like. But who knows? Um, we also have Tom Ford Ombre Leather, which I was like, there's a Tom Ford in here. Probably not going to like it because that sounds kind of masculine. And then they also have Victor and Wall, Victor and Raw Flower Bomb. Don't know. That is not for me. Too much patchouli for me. And then YSL Black Opium, which I don't know if I've ever smelled that on my skin. So I get to pick one full size out of all of these. So I'm pretty excited because some of them, is this a small one too? Oh, it is. They just put it in a box. It's all of them are these little bitty sizes. So these are perfect to travel with. And then, like I said, you get to pick, I think the biggest size I saw is 1.7. Oh no, Juliet Has a Gun is a 3.3 fluid ounce. And then the other ones are one fluid ounce or 1.6 or 1.7. Yeah. Last time I did this, I just was like, give me the biggest one because that's going to cost the most. And that's how I ended up with a... Where's she at? I see the bottle and I can't think of the name. Clean... 
reserve one of those fragrances and then i was like i don't even like this this much so definitely not going by the size of the fragrance i'm gonna pick something that i love well guys that is it for this haul i hope it wasn't too long i'm glad i got to swatch some stuff i'm excited about this stuff i'm trying to make sure i'm not just shopping for sales and shopping for stuff that i'm genuinely excited about getting i have way too too much stuff in my collection to do that anymore I used to do that when I first started shopping and that's how my collection got so big. So I'm trying to just make sure I'm adding things that I know I'm gonna love. Comment, let me know if you shopped the sale, what did you pick up? Anything that you're interested in seeing me do a video on or giving you my feedback on if I've tried it. I love hearing from you guys. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for sticking with me to the end and I will see you in my next one. Bye. It's not the way you said it. I am.